What's up everybody? My name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. If you saw the last bourbon hunt I did, then you know what bottle I'm doing today. Today, we're doing the brand new Baby Jane. Okay, so Baby Jane, obviously from Widow Jane, but this is apparently now using their own hand-selected heirloom corn coming in at 45.5% alcohol, which makes it 91 proof. This is batch two with a 2024 release date. I didn't even know there was a batch one. I have never seen this bottle before until recently. Didn't even know it existed. It says, in pursuit of perfection, we at Widow Jane grow our own unique corn varietal, baptized Baby Jane. This special grain delivers a depth and creamy spiced finish that is a rare treat for the most discerning bourbon lover's palate. We start with the finest ingredients and distill them with care in New York and in Kentucky into an extraordinary bourbon. So, Baby Jane. I love Widow Jane, the regular 10-year version. Can this one stack up? We'll find out today. Okay, just a little extra information about this. They say about Baby Jane is that in the pursuit of intense and original flavors, the early years, they cu they curated all this corn from their team. They hand selected only the finest kernels, it says, which they then used to grow in their field. Uh, that corn, which is now proprietary to uh, Widow Jane, was harvested, driven to Red Hook and mash fermented and distilled and placed into new American oak barrels. So. We'll see if it's actually worth all the hype today. I'm excited for it because I like Widow Jane. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and pop this bad baby and uh, get the nosing straight out of the bottle. Sweet and salty. Maybe a little honey note. Hmm, there's some kind of other sweet note in there that I haven't picked out yet. Maybe like, uh, what's that, uh, not... Not cantaloupe, but the green one. What's the green one? The green cantaloupe. Kind of like the green cantaloupe. It's got a little bit of spice on there too. You can, I get a little hint of spiciness. So let's go ahead and pour this one into the glass today. I'm excited to try it. My first ever Baby Jane. I have seen no one else do a review of this thing yet. So I'm sure they're out there, but I haven't seen them. All right, in the glass, it's a little yellow. Uh, not overly, you know, aged. Uh, it's not looking like on this one. So, you know, we'll see what it uh, tastes like when we get into it. But uh, I'm excited for it today. Hey, if you haven't already, do me one big favor. Hit like, hit subscribe on the channel. And if you really want to help support, then go ahead and hit that join button down below. All right, let's get the nosing out of the glass. Definitely get that sweet and salty note. I think, what is that green melon called? It's not cantaloupe. It's green melanope. It's green, green melanope does have a little bit of spice on there, but it's like a, it's like a salty, briny spice almost. Got a little bit of like a uh, smoked caramel quality to it as well. I don't think I've ever said smoked caramel before, but it's got that going as well. All right, so it smells pretty good. It's 91 proof. We'll see if this Baby Jane with their own heirloom corn can stack up to the regular Widow Jane 10 year. Cheers, everybody. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is I definitely get the like salted caramel notes. That saltiness comes through from the nose onto the palate. Definitely get a, like a salty caramel note on there. Got some kind of fruitiness on there that I'm trying to pick out. It does actually coat the tongue a little bit, especially for being 91 proof. I don't know if it's that that green, that green melanope, whatever it's called. I got on that one, I got the very distinct flavor of strawberries and cream. Strawberries and cream, like if you ever had the, not so much the ice cream, but if you ever had like the strawberries and cream uh, oatmeal, uh, they make the like the Quaker strawberries and cream oatmeal. That's it. That's what that tastes like. A little bit of salted caramel, a little bit of straw. Ooh, that strawberry and cream really coats the tongue nicely on the end. I think that's definitely my favorite part. Is it coats your tongue with that strawberries and cream oatmeal, but it's like that creaminess. It's it's very nice. Very good finish on this thing. It does have a hint, a hint of like that uh, that corn husk note. Definitely got a hint of that corn husk note in it. Not like the Texas whiskey does, where it's like prevalent corn husk, but it's definitely got a little bit of it in there. You just gotta kind of dig for it, and once you figure out what it is, you're like, oh yeah, that's corn husk. 
it's weird because you get the spiciness up front on this one where normally I would get that sweet more up front and then it transitions into the spiciness. This one's like reverse where you get that spiciness, just a little jolt of it up front and then it transfers into that strawberries and cream, a little bit of salted caramel. Feels a little bit salty in the mouth, but it's a really nice finish. It coats nicely on the tongue, especially for a 91 proof uh, uh, bourbon. So I'm pleasantly surprised with it. All right, let's go ahead and drink this thing one or two more times and we will go ahead and rank it today on the tier system. If I had to pick out any complaints about it, it doesn't have any of that like old mustiness quality. There's not a whole lot of oak or anything going on like that. It is super sweet. It is that super corn profile to it. So it's missing on a couple of those things, but this is a really nice sipper. I could definitely see myself sitting outside on a nice uh, summer night sipping on this thing. This isn't going to be like one of those heavy dense ones that is more like a winter bourbon. This is definitely more light airy creamy kind of that saltiness like a, like if you're down by the salt water or something like that but it's definitely missing those like more refined uh, musty older dense notes all right so let's go ahead rate this baby jane on the baby tier system today i think based on everything that i've said in the video so far i'm gonna go ahead and give it one last sip i'm officially rate this thing on the b tier B tier. Can't complain about it, especially for the price point of $50, which is definitely cheaper than uh, the regular Widow Jane 10 year goes for. I think that goes for more around the $80 range. I haven't bought it in a long time. I still have a bottle down in the bunker somewhere, but I haven't bought that one in a long time, but I think that one's more in the $80 range. So I don't know what the age statement is on the Baby Jane, but I would be interested to see if one time, if, you know, in the future, now that this is obviously their own proprietary uh, corn blend and mix that they're doing, they don't have the higher age statement stuff on it yet. I'd be interested to see what this turns into when it gets a, a little bit older, because I think it could be really, really good once it gets a few more years of age on it. But hey, at $50 and coming from... Uh, the Widow Jane Distillery, haven't had anything from them that I haven't liked yet, so it's going on the B tier today. If you guys see it, I might suggest it at $50. It, it's not a bad buy at all. Nice, easy sipper, and it's a pretty cool bottle. So, hey, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Baby Jane, pretty cool bottle, too. Look at that bottle. It's got, like, it's like regular, but then it's got some striping on the top. It's pretty cool. So the Baby Jane with the little heirloom corn in there in that like rose gold, it looks nice. So yeah, it's officially going on the B tier today. Let me know, have you guys seen this bottle at all? I have never seen it until just this last two weeks. And obviously now I have a bottle. So appreciate y'all watching. I'll see you for your next drink.